Ladies and gentlemen, March has been a wild month on a lot of levels. And yesterday and today, for the first time that I can ever recall, we had the red bean of danger in Texas as, and then in Louisiana today. And yesterday, we had a bunch of tornadoes touch down and rip through Texas, causing a lot of problems. And then today in Louisiana and New Orleans, we have had major large tornadoes touch down in the city of New Orleans, destroying homes and causing injuries and definitely doing a lot of damage. And now we've got tornado warnings up for Birmingham, Alabama. So please seek shelter if necessary and do your best to stay safe. In the last few days, we've also had more than a thousand small earthquakes hit Portuguese volcanic island. You had a 6.9 earthquake hit Taiwan. You had a 6.7 earthquake hit in the north mid-Atlantic Ridge. Looks like you've got quite a bit of little activity up the west coast of the United States. You had a 4.5 earthquake in Mexico apparently caused a sinkhole and falling rocks. That's right. Uh, due to falling rocks, navigation in the sinkhole canyon at Chiapas was suspended. No people were injured. This was supposedly caused by the earthquake 4.5 that struck near there. Caused a lot of falling rocks, landslides. I don't know if it's named sinkhole canyon or... But... Yeah, so there is a lot going on across the planet. But yes, this multi-vortex tornado that moved through parts of New Orleans, doing major damage to Arabi. It looks like something out of an actual horror film. So hopefully everyone is safe. And we avoided casualties over this super crazy two-day period, which is not over yet, by the way. This storm will continue to move to the east, bringing dangerous conditions into Alabama, Mississippi, parts of Florida, and Georgia. And then on Wednesday, you've got Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina in the danger zone, plus Indiana and Ohio, I believe. And remember, if a storm can spin up tornadoes that means it can spin up tornadoes the entire time it leaves in my opinion so everybody here needs to fully stay aware the sun has dipped down to only two sunspots i like it a whole lot better when there are more sunspots but we have had two c-class flares in the last 24 hours and the solar flux is at 106 you had the major backside impressive coronal mass ejection that happened like 36 hours ago. And then we're on day like 28 of the Russia invades Ukraine, which is divided America. It's like every subject we get divides America a little more. And I'm surprised at how much that subject is dividing us. But hey, it has been like a divide and conquer period for the last 20 damn years. And so, I don't know, buckle up, man. You still got nine more days in March. And the Russian invasion of Ukraine pretty much started when Venus was besieged, which means that it got caught between two malefic planets, Saturn and Mars. It won't leave besiegement until the 28th. And then on the 5th of April... Mars will conjoin with Saturn, so that is a super-duper, absolutely red-alert date. If you were going to have World War III break out, that would be a day, so please do what you can to avoid World War III. Then you got Jupiter and Neptune lining up together in the sky on April 6th, I believe. And then Jupiter will reappear in our sky around the same time. So there will be a lot going on in the next two to three weeks for sure, absolutely. But hopefully, everything will calm down some by the middle of April. So hang on. There's definitely a lot of damage in New Orleans right now. 
This has been a crazy storm that has had tornadoes at the bottom and then snow and ice at the top and then rain in the middle. Spring officially started on the 20th, so this is like the kickoff of what I have a feeling is going to be a very active, severe weather season. Here we're watching the last 48 hours of mixed precipitation of the storm that is moving out and still will be with us two days from now bringing heavy rain and snow and sleet to some parts of the north and Canada. But look at the red, Florida and Georgia. Stay aware and definitely, like I said, spin-ups can occur. And these tornadoes have been kind of scary, so try and stay out of their way if you can. But you can see here in the red that, yeah, it looks like Alabama. You've got the reds or the tornado warnings. And then the yellow are thunderstorm warnings. So please stay cool, but stay aware. Because I'd watch this storm until it passes. And so in the last 48 hours, you've had tornadoes rip through Austin, or Round Rock, which I consider part of Austin, and then New Orleans today. So yeah, it's going to be a wild spring, man. This tornado was definitely a monster. This was yesterday when you pretty much had in Round Rock by Austin, tornado ripped through Walmart. And then here's the tornadoes on the ground. So it's been a very active storm for sure. And then, yeah, there's been quite a bit of hail and rain with it. And then, just in case you haven't seen it, here is a video of Watch This Truck. This was yesterday in Texas. A truck, a tornado actually hit a truck, flipped it over, spins it around, flips it back on its wheels, and then the truck just drives off like nothing happened. That is what we call Ford Tough. Although it might be a Dodge. So, in the last few days, multiple cities have been devastated. This is video from Ukraine, as now Russia has fired over 1,100 rockets into its neighboring country, doing incredible amounts of damage and destroying a whole lot of infrastructure. <sighs> Man, what a crazy timeline we live in. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping things get better, but, you know, things keep, keep, keep seeming to get crappier. In this stupid divide and conquer dystopia, Deborah Blum pointing out, yum, great value pancake and waffle mix from Walmart is recalled due to possible cable fragments. Well, the downside is cable fragments are probably bad for you, but the upside is if you eat enough, maybe you can pick up um, ESPN if you like sports in your mind. All right, that joke is dumb. Sorry. Japan has had electricity costs soaring and rolling blackouts with after their earthquake. And, you know, like their major uh, electricity and oil inflation happening all over the globe. It's like no matter what is happening, definitely the electricity and oil guys are always winning. Oh, yeah. And then the $300 billion real estate company in China, Evergrande, looks like it is definitely going to default on $300 billion worth of debt after it reports it's going to miss its deadline for its 2021 audit. So that's going to, and then you had the Russian stock markets closed for like a month. So expect some wild swings in everything over the next month or two. And you've got days of steady rainfall will create significant flooding event across a large swath of Spain this week. So a lot of people will be going through a lot of shiz. So please stay cool. I'm going to remain optimistic because Asteroid Fight Club is absolutely awesome. And God is great, too. I don't know if you know this, but Thor News hit its monthly fundraiser goal for March, 
which I super duper absolutely appreciate. So I'd like to say thank you again. Thank you to Asteroid Fight Club and thank you to the artist.com. Cody, Jesus Loves Gays on Facebook. Christine, George, Joel, Robert, Ricks, Greg, Shay, Darlene, Megan, Michelle, Shams, Wizard of Oz, Texas Angel, Alexis, Dan, Ann, Bruce, Patricia, Max, KJ, Brian, Marlita, Light Soul, Glenda, Barbara, Richard, Lauren, and everybody out there that is cool, awesome, and helping us keep it together. I love and appreciate you. Try and have a good night, and let's try and have a decent week. And close our march strong, but be prepared for just about damn near anything up until about the 28th. That is my opinion. Okay, God bless everyone. Stay cool.